Hi, my name is Ananya, and today I'm going to demonstrate how you screen mirror your Oculus Go onto your computer screen. This can be really helpful if you want to show someone what you're experiencing in VR, or if you want to take a video recording of your VR experience for later use. Um, be sure to follow along on our blog post uh, where we have um, a lot of the important commands that you'll need to do this. First, you'll need to set up your device. To do this, you'll need to install Android Debug Bridge or ADB onto your computer. And this can be installed with Android's SDK platform tools, which you can find at this link. Once installed, they should look something like this. You'll also need to download and install VLC Media Player, which you can find at this link. And once installed, it should show up on your computer like this. Next, you're gonna need to put your Oculus Go in developer mode. To do this, you'll first need to enable developer mode in your Oculus account, and instructions have been provided here. Once that's done, you can open the Oculus app on your mobile device, specifically the one connected to your headset. And in the settings menu, you can toggle developer mode on. First, we're gonna talk about screen mirroring while your Oculus Go is connected to your computer. To start, you're going to need to be inside of the ADB working directory in either command prompt or terminal. If you're on Windows, you're going to need to run command prompt as an administrator. Once you're in command prompt, you're going to need to enter the folder where ADB is stored. You can do that like this. And you can just check to make sure that you're in there by calling ADB. You'll notice that we've highlighted two parameters, bitrate and path to VLC. Path to VLC in this case is extremely important. In these commands, we've implemented default pathways that point your computer to where VLC is saved. However, if VLC is saved somewhere different in your computer, you'll need to delete this default path and replace it with the path where VLC is saved on your computer. So you copy the command into command prompt or terminal, and then go in and replace the location of VLC with the actual path on your computer. And when you do this, make sure you're pointing this command at the VLC executable. Have that last part on there. Once that's done, you can press enter and a VLC window should pop up on your computer. Nothing will show until your Oculus Go is turned on. But once it is, you should be able to see what I'm seeing in my headset on the computer. Now we're gonna show you how to screen mirror over a wireless connection. To do this, your Oculus Go is still going to need to be connected to your computer, but we'll disconnect it soon. You'll also need to make sure that your headset and your computer are on the same wireless network in order to make sure this works. To start out, you're also going to need to be in the ADB working directory. First, you're gonna to need to find the IP address of your headset using this command. You'll see the tag SRC and then a bunch of numbers and that's your headset's IP address. Next, you're going to need to enter this command to direct your device to look for incoming connections. And at this point, you can disconnect your headset from your computer. Now you'll need to establish your connection between the computer and your headset over the wireless network with the command ADB connect plus the IP address that you received from the earlier step you'll see a message that your headset has connected, and now you can go ahead and copy in the screen sharing command. Couple things to notice before we press enter. You're still going to need to replace the location of VLC if VLC is saved somewhere else on your computer. You'll also notice that one of the parameters is slightly different than it was when we were screen sharing over a wired connection. This is the bitrate command, and Right now, we have it set to 2 Mbps instead of what it was before at 8 Mbps. The value of your bitrate parameter will correspond to your available bandwidth. We'd recommend that you play around with the bitrate parameter value to figure out what works best with your internet connection. If you're experiencing high delay, then lower the value. But the lower the value, the lower the video quality. So it is a balancing act. So once we have all that in, you just press enter, turn on your headset, and now you're screen sharing over a wireless connection. All right, that's all we have for you today. Thank you so much.